Hello and welcome to our Kinepic Knowledge Based Podcast. I'm Sabol Choshvat, CEO and co-founder of Kinepic. Today we are happy to welcome Susanna and Eli, the chairpersons of the Hungarian British Business Association, HBBA. Hello and welcome Susanna and Eli. Hello Sabolc. Hello Sabolc, I'm very happy to be here. Thanks a lot for having us. Could you kindly introduce yourselves in a few sentences to our audiences? My name is uh, Susanna Toth, uh, the chairwoman of the HBBA. And uh, my purpose is to assist our overseas partners to accelerate sustainable growth without cross-cultural barriers as a, as a, as a, as a, as a business owner. I have been an uh, entrepreneur running my own businesses for the last 30 years. And I've built up a vast network of senior contacts and decision makers on a global basis with, uh, with uh, different industry partners and customers of all types. Okay, my name is Ali Rezayatmai. I'm the chairman of Hungarian British Business Association uh, as well. And I'm in the business for more than 25 years in different field finance, uh, in international trade and uh, some energy but it's not i'm not very bold on that but uh, yeah as susanna mentioned we are very proud and glad working with these two country lovely hungary and uk and we try to helping as much as we can hungarian companies and british companies to be together i'd like to mention the name uh, peter wilcock who is uh, the honorary chair of the Hungarian British Business Association. He's our mentor, he's a strategist who has the power of thought within the business world. His jungle, his care is a bigger set for us. Thank you very much. Why was HBBA developed? What's its idea, the idea behind and what's its mission? If you don't mind, Sabolc, I would like my business partner and friend Eli would answer why and how, and then I will carry on his um, his uh, answer with uh, some details. So how was it established, uh, Eli? <laughs> it was very accidental. One day we had lunch together, and Susanna mentioned me because uh, it's a it's something missing in this market, Hungarian, uh, like something like Hungarian British Business Association. And because of her background, her uh, very strong connection with Hungary and also in UK, she said, Ali, is something missed here? We, we don't have any organization trying to helping the Hungarian businesses and also UK businesses. I think uh, British Hungarian uh, um, Chamber of Commerce exists, but we don't want to be there. We are here and we are, we are not doing anything in Hungary. And I said, Susanna, why not? We, we can establish them, we can help it. And she said, really? I said, yeah, why not? That's someone, if, if you feel there's a gap in the market and no one exists in this market, why not? And then we are here. Uh, one more little piece of information that um, uh, Ali missed. Uh, he was the first person uh, after I had had a morning coffee at the Embassy of Hungary and where I was offered by the Embassy of Hungary to establish a Hungarian chamber here in London. But I told them I don't think uh, it would be effective enough, but I would see an amazing opportunity to have a Hungarian British, British Hungarian, to, to be able to use my amazing uh, connections network here in London. And then uh, I met, uh, we had uh, lunch with Ali, and Ali was absolutely very positive, full of enthusiasm and commitment. To be honest, his reaction made me so happy and surprised. So that's that's what that's how it was born about a year ago, and this is our baby. Thank you very much. This sounds very exciting to me and very useful for for Kinepic and myself as well when building the relationships towards Britain. Uh, I guess it sounds um, also interesting to other um, people listening at our podcast. So please, could you tell us more about who you your current members are and how someone can become one? 
Before Susanna go and talk about our members, I would like to say is this little baby, as Susanna mentioned, has very big family right now. We have a lot of distinguished members from Hungary and UK, and we grown uh, this baby grown up very well, and we have optimistically very good. We can see very good future for this baby. Well, coming back to your uh, uh, question, Sabolc, um, our members so far we, we have had in half year we have had about 50, uh, 50 members that we've been extremely proud of. And uh, as I mentioned to you before, our mission is to provide a gateway with a lot of education, knowledge, information, and a network uh, connections for our members. So these 50 members, however, Ellie and I are extremely proud to have Kinapic as our distinguished members. Thank you, one of our distinguished members. So thank you very much for your for your trust and we are about to help and support you in the UK market as much we can as much as we can. So um yeah about 50 members uh, what sectors that was your next question. At the moment I wouldn't say that we are sector specifics. Our uh, main idea is to support um, market entry matured mainly innovation, technology, sustainability, um, uh, green energy, IT sector, fintech sector. We have one of our members is Sovereign. In 43 countries, they have been uh, functioning. So not only SMEs, but also corporate sectors are more than welcome because of the benefits that we can offer our, our partners. Thank you very much. Yes, um, we have recently become a member of the HBBA group, and yeah, I'm I'm very happy we 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 had this possibility, and you provide us with um, tremendous help and support um, in our efforts to enter the UK market. And I believe it's true to your motto um, that you are making connections and building bridges. That's really useful for us. Um, recently, you participated at the. Budapest business trip um, between like five and seventh of October. So how did it go? How useful was this for you? And what are your future plans? Actually, Budapest business trip, it was one of the most um, well experienced for myself personally. And uh, uh, we being plus 30 business, UK business delegation there. And we have a chance to attending to the HEPA, Hungarian Export Promotion Agency. And on that day, our members joined us also from Hungary and uh, we, we've been able to meet plus 70 other Hungarian businesses. And then the other day, we had the chance to attending to the HEPA, uh, Hungarian Investment Promotion Agency. And I have to be Personally, very thankful to Hungarian Embassy in London and uh, Judith Sacco because she organized this uh, well trip uh, for us. Uh, but now we can see some result from that trip because some days I get some emails and uh, but for example, I was very proud. One of our UK business delegated he got a deal from Hungary and I was so proud and happy today because this is very quick result because they sign it and that company you can uh, that Hungarian company looking for a UK market and one of our UK uh, companies signed the contract and then that's that's one of the really good uh, I can say is result for HBBA and it's not only one and I I think right now it's another four and five on the queue. But the, uh, in my personal experience, um, I can talk a little bit about Hungary because it was beautiful Hungarian city we've been in capital Budapest. Uh, thanks Susanna, managing very well uh, both trip for us. We had a lovely dinner in Danube and His Excellency British Ambassador Paul Fox attending to our event and he had the speech. Uh, Generally, if I want to tell you something in one word, it was successful. Let me add one piece of more information to what Ali said that absolutely 
we are so happy, so proud of this trip because of our British delegation of 31 uh, businesses and because of the 70 Hungarian companies who were able to meet and negotiate and getting information about each other, we absolutely did our mission. We were making, we were walking through the bridges between London and Budapest. Thank you. And sorry, and you also you you also asked about our our plan. The day before yesterday, we had a long long meeting with Ali and speaking about the strategy of 2023. There will be some same, some some uh, changes uh, in the HBBA structure. I don't think we are talking about it now. But regarding the future, we definitely want to provide similar business trips to our British companies and also probably Hungarians. Uh, at the moment, we can't say the proper date, but uh, it was a very strong lead generation and multicultural communication thing. So we have to carry on, carry it on. Yeah, we will. So please um, tell me, how do you see the future of the HB HBBA? Okay, uh, as I mentioned to you before, uh, two, three weeks ago in Budapest, our British delegation and our Hungarian companies were walking together in a bridge. And we are building more and more bridges in the future. And if I can say something with numbers, my number is somewhere between 100 and 200. Ellie's number will be a, a little bit different regarding our members. But we really want to carry, keep carry on providing the exclusivity that our members will get or have been given because of the embassy uh, support, because of the direct connections with HEPA, HIPAA, the Minister of Foreign Trade, and because of our services that we've been so committed to, to provide. The future of HBBA, I can see very bright future for HBBA, not because I'm involved with this business, no, because of the fact right now we have plus 50 members and, uh, from every sector. And now we are looking forward to raise these members. And now we want to focus more in the Hungarian market as well, because we feel they need us more than British side, uh, because the British side already have us and we, we are everywhere. Now we want to focus more in the Hungarian market and then uh, raise our uh, members from there and uh, on the base of services we are we can provide for our members we try to do the best as much as possible we, and we use all capacities and it's not only because we are helping because all other members uh, I, I, I call it we be a family I know versus members we are all like a family as I mentioned you at the first this little baby has a very big a strong family and this family helping to each other as well and because we are united and we are together, I can see we get bigger and bigger and bigger in the future soon. Ali mentioned the expression family. I would like to catch uh, uh, this opportunity to say about it that family means uh, um, has a kind of emotional uh, emotional side. So we really look after our our members and um, any kind of business networking events or any kind of events we organize, they feel they feel that or in Budapest, it was very, very special. And also family, not only because of emotionally, but also uh, intellectually or business wise. Let me say there are about three members apart from Kinepict, uh, uh who are related to life science, um, medical science. And uh, I, I, you can't imagine how much you would be able to help uh, and support each other in the same sector. Uh, you are a professor, you are a doctor, Sabolj, so it's not uh, necessary uh, to explain to you what means internationally well-connected people to be surrounded by. Uh, thanks for HBBA. So 
We are we are we are very very proud of you of your company and your innovation. Thank you very much. Tell me how the recent Brexit um, affects your your challenges or or your opportunities in HBBA. Uh, well, I uh, personally, um, before answering your question, personally, I've been helping as a business growth, growth consultant, a Hungarian company's market entry here for about seven years before Brexit. I started to do it before Brexit. And also a uh, British company's market entry in Hungary. What I have realized, and I absolutely feel it in the in the air, that after Brexit, British companies have become more open. They want to have, so, so the government uh, started to make special economical connections uh, after leaving the EU with New Zealand, with Canada, so many, many countries. And Central Europe, our region, Central Europe, Hungary, East Europe, have become in the public eye in the UK. So 30, 31 British delegation joined us because they want to do, they want to do business. They want to do business with, uh, uh, with, with Central Europe. Thank you very much. Ali, will so, uh, all, all right. you comment also? Or I, I'm uh, not trying to press you. About, about Brexit, I've, I think it was a decision made and it happened. But right now we are, focusing more about businesses and if if we are serious about business doesn't matter what happened in the two years ago or in the future we can go forward we are looking forward to do business but uh that's all i can say now focusing on a business with more eu countries and as susanna says government signed a lot of contracts for free trade that's as i respect it and if it's the opportunity as a businessman i would like to try that side of the world uh but right now, for us as a British business, as a British business owners, I'm open to any market, and I, I try to work very, very, very hard to see where is better. And I think the Hungarian or French or German, they have the same opinion because we, we are still in a business. We didn't leave the continent of world. We are still here. But anyway, what what uh, so um. Uh, attractive for the British companies in in Hungary that um, the company tax is only nine percent in the European Union. So so the lowest. So this is one of the reasons why British companies are so open, and the location Budapest is the heart of uh, of Central Europe also, and a very uh, well qualified, skillful workforce. And, um, that's... and well, well, hospitality. Yes, of course. <laughs> and delicious wine. <laughs> so thank you. Yes, um, all this openness I can feel in in what you are doing, and it's it's very very attractive for us. And I'm happy that we can be part of this community you are building. We look forward, Sabos, to meeting you and um, having a glass of champagne or wine on the eighth of. December uh, at the embassy will have the Christmas reception where only a strictly a strictly by invitation only our distinguished um, members will be invited so I think I can say on behalf of Ellie too that we look forward to having you there thank you very much yes let's hope um, we, we will meet there yeah I'm looking forward to it but Sawish, can I raise one question? I know you are questioning us, but some question came in my mind and I would like to sure. share with you. Sure, yes. What was the reason you convinced to join to HPBA? As a startup who doesn't have um, too many connections yet in the UK, we needed help. And we were very glad to find you. And as, as later on this um, conversation with you evolved and um, you helped us with connections and, and um, yeah, it, it, it proved itself. So it, it was worth as I'm looking back to it, but it's all about finding, finding the proper people um, in, a, in a society that, that we are not familiar yet with and um, we, we don't have um, any connections yet. And um, 
as, as a um, starting point, HBBA uh, gave us a, an amazing help. Okay. So, thank yes, you. let me thank you. Thank you. Sadly, our time is up. Thank you to all our listeners for joining us today. And a big thank, thank you to uh, Ali and Susanna, the chairpersons of the Hungarian British Business Association, HBBA, for sharing their insight and wisdom with us. As always, if anyone has any questions or comments about what we have discussed, be sure to get in touch with us. We are looking forward to catching you all next time as well. Bye. Bye-bye. For inviting us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.